Hi everyone, this is Deco Graphics Studio, and today we'll be going over this grasshopper script that allows you to create a whole building. This is an idea of what I created at the end of this tutorial, and I also wanted to share with you that there's a website that I have the full steps of how this was created, and it's called Skillshare, and it's a website where you can go and learn many different things. Um, and it's free for the first uh, for a trial so if you want to learn how this was created step by step go check it out there all the links to go to the Skillshare website and to download the script uh, to use it yourself are in the description below so make sure you go and check it out if you are an architect a designer or someone that um, wants to kind of draw buildings fairly quickly this is something that you're gonna want to take a look at um, so for now, I'm going to create a, a, a polyline that's basically going to be the building footprint. And that's when it's, that's going to be the jumping off point for creating the, the, the building exterior. So I'm going to start here and first go to units. In my units, it's going to be inches and feet and inches here. So I'm going to start off here with a changing the layer name to footprint and I'll change the color to black and now I can start creating the exterior footprint so I'm gonna start going 30 here and join this and so now we have I've created kind of this um, exterior polyline that is accurate to the dimensions that I kind of specified here and now I can go into the grasshopper so this is a plugin called um, grasshopper and I'm gonna go open a document here Okay, so this is the script that I will be using. I'm going to make sure to put this in the link for you to be able to download it for free and uh, play around with it because I, I feel like it's a interesting little script that can uh, really do a lot in a, in a short amount of time. So for now, I'm gonna select that curve that I created uh, just a second ago and I'm gonna right click here and set one curve. And as you can see, when we go to perspective and we do Z space E space, we go to we can go to the extents. And as you can see here, there's some kind of error going on. There's something that's not working uh, with that polyline or with the script. So uh, from what I see is that the this polyline, the direction in which it's offsetting and doing the entire script, is flipped. So what I do is take this, um, this part at the beginning, this is the, the, the closed polyline that you're going to use as the base geometry, and, you, and this is what flips it. So I'm going to take that and override that last one by plugging that right into there. And as you can see, now, we're, um, now it's working. So um, 
there shouldn't be any problems uh, with it now. And so I'm going to go here and go to wall height. And uh, I'm going to do 240. So let's see. I'm actually going to do 250. Let's max it out here to 250. Let's do the wall. Wall thickness. Let's do that at 8. Wall height at 250. Ceiling joist. 24 inches. Parapet thickness. 5.5. That's fine. Parapet height. Let's do 42 inch. Exterior material bottom offset. We'll do 2 inches. Exterior material thickness. We'll do 6 inches because it'll. Um, I want it to be a brick or something thick. Some stone on the outside. And then here we go to the footing. Slab thickness 6 is fine. Footing width 24 is fine. And then footing depth, let's do a 36 inch deep foundation. And as you can see, this script allows you to completely just create that entire uh, building footprint and entire outside perimeter of a building just in a matter of um, just minutes, you know, with this script. Um, you all, the only thing you have to be careful with is keep an eye out with this that um, allows you to flip the curve the the initial curve you can also go here select it and type in flip but as you can see it'll do that again so you can unflip it or you could do it here inside of the script either way it works one of the things that I like to do uh, before I bake anything is I go in here um, in here and I type in purge and what it's gonna do is it's gonna take anything that we're not using in this entire uh, program and it's just gonna wipe it out so it will also do that to your layers so now we only have that footprint layer and then here we can start with a new layer called foundation then hit tab then we go walls tab roof tab um, and then exterior material and we can pick some colors here that way we um, when we bring up the script and we want to bake everything out we can do it um, uh, depending to whatever layer that we just created so as you can see here we're gonna go to the foundation we're gonna do spacebar make sure that the layer is selected and current and you do select it spacebar bake now go to walls when you go here select with that selected you do spacebar bake now you go to the roof and well I guess that's the ceiling here so spacebar bake and now we go to exterior material we go to this one spacebar and bake and then we can go to walls again for the parapet so like that one spacebar bake and so um, now we can just save our save our um, save our document and I'm going to save it whole building script final and so here we are I can um, hide it go here to the shaded with material or just shaded um, and you can see that we have that entire building footprint perfectly done and now you can just assign materials to these and uh, you should be on your way so what I'm gonna do now is go into a time-lapse and kinda do a quick 
um, detailing of the exterior of this building just to give you an idea of the how quick it can be to get something like this done so uh, hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial and let me know if you have any questions So this is the final result of uh, that design uh, from the grasshopper script and I feel like it turned out pretty good. Of course I could have taken more time, done the window surrounds and added more detail but this is an idea of how quick and easy it could be for you to take something from grasshopper that you created accurately per the different heights and, and parameters here and then you could just add materials and little details, windows and things like that to kind of finalize your your sketch uh, design thank you very much for watching I really appreciate you guys supporting me um, hopefully you learned something from this tutorial and uh, if you get a chance go check out my Skillshare class that is available so you can learn every single step of how I created this whole building script so hopefully you learned something uh, stay tuned and uh, thank you very much for watching